The Man in the Suit. All right, it's a Godzilla analog horror. This one is by Unknowingly on YouTube. All right. Uh, let me give you guys a quick little little description for y'all. Translate it for us. So it says, Godzilla may be a monster, but it seems different to me. He is rather a god. Control our world according to each other, and I will be the meat of the beast. I will be the host of Godzilla. Because I want to be a god who is respected by people, and I want to be the meat of, his, of this beast. And the fear of which one is wrong. I'm not a movie monster. It's Goji, the law of good and evil, and I will live in this beast because he is the only one who can help us. There is no God, just me, Goji. Okie dokie then. Without further ado, guys, the Godzilla Suits Incident. Let's do it. Let's do it. First tape. Yeah, that's first tape. I had to make sure. I've never actually seen the classic Godzilla movies. Can you believe that? All right. Okay. That's a nice little thick intro. Dang. <laughs> the person in the Gojira suit was unknown at the time. Oh, so this is about the... Cause remember, there was back then, there used to be a person in the suit. But the story of the actor has... No, the, but the story the actor has with Gojira is odd. This is a photo of him in the suit. Here is another picture. He got the acting job of being and wearing the Gojira suit. Gorgia. I'm guessing that's uh, Godzilla. I mean, the original name for Godzilla. And the actor fell in love with it. So man's really, man's really became the suit. He would wear the suit most of the time to the point that you never saw his actual face. A Toho, oh hell no. My man was obsessed. He's like, I am Godzilla, dang it. Even when we took breaks, he would just wear the suit. The suit would sometimes heat up, but he didn't care. Acted on the set. My man's was dripping in sweat. I, I can already smell the scent it was like if he was addicted to the suit like if it was calling his name he has gotten to the point where he brings the suit home even though we tell him not to this man goes to bed with the suit i bet you i bet you he goes to sleep with the suit now i'm talking about like wearing it he probably doesn't even take a shower anymore does he stink the last time we, we, we were seen on set, he was acting in the suit until he just stopped. This is the photo that was taken, so he just stopped. Several minutes later, he would start to walk and stop yet again. His breathing was muffled, yet he was also breathing oddly. The director thought this was a joke, poking at him to get back in place, but he wouldn't budge. After two odd minutes of Ollie breathing, he would tell people to check on him and to make sure he takes off the suit. This was the photo someone took before the person on the right saw what was inside. Oh. Side, bro. Tell me, fungus, mushrooms. The man opened the costume to see what that he has grown. That man was growing into the suit. The man opened the costume to see that he was growing into the suit, 
His flesh would slowly rip away as he tried to open the pocket where actors would enter the suit. The suit was now his skin. Somehow his body deformed to the point he was filling the inside of the suit. The dude was like filling in all the empty gaps within the suit. <laughs> Yo, that's some nasty shit! This is what they expected. You're gonna give us like a little diagram? Oh, here we go, here we go. This, so this is before, I believe. Now show us him growing into the suit. No? Oh, here's what they found. Okay, here we go. Here we go. So you see, look, the black is the, the costume and the white is the person. So if you look closely at what's left of the suit <laughs> and what's of him, the actor, and then I believe maybe the red is the fusion between the suit and his skin. It's flesh. That is disgusting. Dang! Remember, guys, take off your suits, okay? Take off... <laughs> And you can see what's left of his bone structure right there. That's crazy, y'all. Okay, so that's what we got so far. So far we got that the actor became super obsessed with the costume to the point that he he became one with the costume. It reminds me of that um that episode of Goosebumps where the girl puts on the mask and the mask gets stuck to her skin. So maybe the costume is haunted or maybe, I don't know. I don't know. But here's tape two. It's called... Anguria's Suit Incident, 1955. Let's see if there's any description here. The description says, I had to do it in two parts. Soon an army will rise, an army that I created, a military that shows what happens when there is a nuclear war. They will end up with the same creatures they created with the atomic bomb. The truth will, will be known to others and soon my family will be avenged. They will understand that we will not resign. I'm not afraid of anyone. I'm not afraid of weapons. I'm not afraid of bombs. I let's do this. Tape two. This was about nine minutes. No one but two of the most terrifying creatures ever loosed on man. Each a raging, unkillable horror. Both on a rampage to stun your every sense. Hell yeah. Gigant Gigantus the fire monster born to destroy each other. Dang! But first, they'll destroy the world. Here's motion picture adventure and excitement to stagger the imagination. The fantastic fire monsters raging okay. out of the flaming bowels of hell. Mighty Gigantus crushing whole cities in his wrath. Did I say get chances? Deadly Angurus, screaming Who? its Angurus. challenge of okay. mortal combat. The battle of the ages. Scenes and sights and sensations beyond any, beyond any. Oh no. I said Giga, Giga Jancis. <laughs> the man in the Godzilla suit still came along for the next movie. And if they stopped and told anyone about the suit man, Toho would have been sued and ridiculed for keeping such a disgusting creation. So they decided to keep him out of the public so they could bank off the success of Gojira. Oh, damn. Imagine that. They're like, hey, bro, just keep the suit on. Did we miss anything? I think it was just like a little, like, little thing, right? Okay, nothing. All right. What is that noise in the background? The Man in the Godzilla suit has been examined by private doctors 
the doctors say that he had consumed a drug that made his skin and flesh inflate inside of the suit and the skin and flesh fused together making the outside of his suits his skin that's why i was like is, is the suit alive or did he do something to himself that caused that so man's been on some drugs damn how are they gonna take that off of him his bones were rearranged inside to matching with the height of the suit. So man's went from five foot five to eight foot nine. You have a diagram for that. It turned out that he could see out of the eye sockets of the suit, but his eyes were bloodshot. Oh, dang. Now look at him. Like I, I can literally picture his face probably like inflated to the side to fit that freaking eye sockets. <laughs> My man became Godzilla. But the thing is that he became Godzilla without the powers. His eyes were bloodshot. Okay. I have nightmares tonight for no damn reason. The name of the actor who plays Augurus is unknown. People on set noticed how he was audited by audited out by the man in the suit. No one had told him what happened and what he what he was now. The man in the Godzilla suit was very cooperative. Even after losing his vocal cords, he could make noises like one of an animal. My man's over here like, oh, oh. <laughs> Nope. My man's vocal cords are destroyed now. It's crazy, yo. Now I know how the Chewbacca actor felt. Everything was fine until the last scene where they would both fight would commence. Okay. Yo, these texts take a while. Damn. The other one took was fast. This one's long. They going at it. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Come on, guys. Let's get on Razzle Dazzle. Look at all the little people. Oh, my God. Hey, you, bro. I wonder if this is the reason why the actor of the other monster is unknown. Maybe he died on set. Maybe Mans was actually getting chewed up by this dude. The man in the Godzilla suit was ch would chomp on the actor's head, making him bleed. This was not part of the script. Yo, Maz is <laughs> Maz didn't even ask for a raise. He's like, yo, I'll do the stunts. The actor would yell for help as the teeth clamped onto him. He would stop moving. Oh my gosh. So that's why he's unknown. And he was feasting. He was like, I ain't eat all day, bro. I'm hungry. Yeah, like it's the 50s. We even got that tech type of technology where blood comes out. The man in the suit will protect, will protect the unconscious actor as he roared at anyone who came close to it. Ain't no way. My man's was over here. I got it. Rawr. I got it. Rawr. Oh, no. I would have beat the shit out of him with the ladder. The actor would awaken shaking violently as he breathes heavily. 
The crew on set helped him up, fearing the worst they try to take off the suit, but it wouldn't budge. Nope. I mean, the suit is literally part of his bone structure now. It's like trying to take off somebody's skin. A picture was taken of the man in the suit roaring and protecting the unconscious actor. Here we go, y'all. This is the picture. Ooh. Oh, nah. Remember, his face is now his real face. So his bone structure is, is has fused with the costume face. So that's his real face now. That's him smiling while people trying to back him off. He's over here jumping. <laughs> That's his roars? <laughs> they ain't no roar, bitch! Hell no! I thought it was like, roar! No, this man's over here <laughs> gasping. Scare the shit out of me. This is what they expected. Alright, this is what they expected. Nasty, I like it. This is what they expected. Okay. okay. Normal, normal. And this is what they found. That's a crazy fusion right there. So pretty much the other one you saw him. This is him normally, right? This is him normally. This is, what, this is the normal. Because man's was on his toes and all that. And this is him today. But you can see that the, the black which, which portrayed the costume is no longer actually there. It's just little bits and pieces. And the red, I believe, is probably his skin and bone fused with the with the you know the 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 freaking costume, and the entirety of the white is pretty much him. What kind of drugs he was into? That's, I don't even want to know. But sweet Jesus, stay away from me, please. My man's became Godzilla, and oh, whoa, 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 whoa. okay, there was like a little sign, sign on the top. Probably meant like help. Yeah, anybody say anything here? Okay, let's put let's put the little description. It says uh, we were supposed to make a movie about what happened, about what they did, what they did to my family, what they did to me. Oh, filthy traitors! I didn't pour my soul into this carcass to be entertained, and with those who killed my family, betrayer. Okay, now he's taking a little a little bit too serious with the damn role. Okay. So I'm, this man's became the movie. Like this man's is Godzilla, okay? But what's crazy is that he became Godzilla, but didn't actually develop the actual Godzilla ness. Like I don't think he can actually shoot fireballs from his mouth. Ah, right, let's go. Next, next video. <laughs> it's catastrophic. 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 It's a tonic, terrifying battle between. The mightiest monsters of all time. King Kong! Godzilla! Oh, no. Placing a trail of terror to his Japanese homeland. Captain, water in the conning tower. Great God. See Godzilla this King Kong. King Kong in the trunk. All right. 
Okay, what am I seeing? What is this, like a silent film? That's pretty good uh, marketing right there. Mm, good, good poster. I, I'll keep one. I'll put one in my room as long as it's not, as long as it's not tainted by the blood of the innocent. It's always like, it's always something up there, but I, it's, it's in Japanese. See what I mean? It's in Japanese. I don't think I can, is it Japanese or maybe it's like a translation right next to it? Let's see. Let's see. If there isn't, it's cool. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. There we go. Oh. Uh, what could that say? Mm. Mm. With the man's suit being the only Godzilla suit at the time, they used him for the next film. Dang! I bet you he had money, though. I bet you he had money. Unless he'd be like, just get me in. Don't even need to pay me. With King Kong being an American film, the man in the suit wasn't having it. Oh. This is where I come in. I will be hiding my eyes and my name for me and my family's safety. Oh, damn. I was put into the job of being the cameraman. They told me what happened before and told me to stay quiet about it or I will be arrested. Arrested for what? But the truth needs to come out somehow. Arrested for creating a freaking abomination for money? The man in the suit wasn't happy making a movie with the Americans. My man's probably wanting to chew his head off. I bet you. Tall's producers forced him to look more appealing to a younger audience. He wasn't happy with how this all played out. My boy Raptor, Riptar, Raptor is having it. He had a very bad dislike towards the actor in the King Kong suit. Switchy, il, il, wait, Il Royce, Il Rose, Il Rose. He either saw Switchy was a traitor for portraying an American monster or saw something in him. We knew that he wasn't a big fan of the Americans. He would roar at them and try to attack them. He treated him like a lion at the zoo. Rawr. <laughs> mm -mm. My man felt like he was a traitor. That's crazy. We had to film one more scene. I was instructed to not stop filming. The script was for after destroying the big building. He would act to, he would act to use his atomic ray breath on him. Does he, did he really develop? It did not go as planned. Oh, no. Nah. Did he really develop? What did he develop then? Huh? Remember how I said that? Does he actually have like... Here we go. I'm gonna have a heart attack one day on stream. <laughs> the man in the suit would push Suichi off the cliff. And I had to record it all. Damn. There was a struggle in the water, splashing as one of them frantically tried to get out of the other's grasp. Only one of them rose from the water. I bet y'all know who it is. Damn, my boy King Kong is dead. Like, realistically, he's done. I was sick to my stomach, not wanting to know what he had done to Sweet Chay LaRose. I got my other camera and ran. I tried to leave the long corridors of the Toho studio, wanted to take a quick breath of fresh air, but I heard screams from the room I had left. The power went out. I used the flash of my camera trying to look around, frantically trying to find an exit. I heard someone's footsteps walking towards me. I thought it was an employee. I took a photo, wanted to find an exit quick. It wasn't an employee. Who could it be? 
was the man in the suit. Ooh, oh, dear God. Dear gosh, y'all. Hell no. Nope, not me. Not today. Not never, not ever. Trying to figure out if there's anybody who translated those stories up there. It wasn't an employee, it was the hash slinging slasher. <laughs> That's crazy. That's some nasty shit. All right, next video. Dear gosh, y'all. Okay, so what do we know today? So far, we know that Godzilla. Doesn't like Americans, so he just wants to eat our heads off. <laughs> Next video, y'all. This one's called Depiction of Growth. Man, right now, it's crazy, right? Okay, so it says, I am not a monster. I will help you all. I will kill those who have wronged me, those who murdered my family, and those who supported them. You killed my family. Monsters! Okay, okay. So the homie is actually taking his role to heart like this man's is really going in like this man's is really buying the godzilla role like this man's will die in that suit this man stop it next video i was startled by the first encounter of the man in the suit it made me more curious than ever it might harm me of doing this but i need answers so i'm i've gone to one of my friends who was smart with this stuff i won't name her so i'll, I'll call her elisa I called her, but she was in the middle of a teaching. Dang, I was in the middle of teaching her class. No, I called her, but she was in the middle of teaching her class, but she would still call me because of how curious she was. She never seen anything like this. I never heard of anything like this. I recorded this section of the call. Okay. A drug that messes you up that bad? The thing is, whatever this was caused wasn't from a pill. This pill. is something else. Oh, God. This is the work of radiation. Holy. Holy radiation. shit. The man radiation. in the suit doesn't fuse with the suit instantly. His body explodes in the suit, then it reshapes itself in the suit. How do I explain this? Imagine a cream-filled donut. Mm -hmm. Without the cream, it's mostly a flat donut. That was the suit before, but because of the filling. The man... It basically filled up all the space. But him and a cream-filled donut are different. The cream and donut are separate entities. There is a barrier so they don't mix. The man in the suit, however, his yeah, skin, it. his flesh, his bones, it's fusing with the suit. His teeth would be the suits. Whatever he took. It's mutating him. Damn. It's making him more like a creature than a human. Soon he will have animalistic properties, oh, like no. using its teeth more effectively, and would be able to control his tail. You said his eyes could move, and that they are bloodshot. But in this photo, his eyes flashed back. Yeah. Human eyes don't do that. You need to try and put him down. Ooh. If not, Say less. it is probably too late for mankind. What you mean by mankind? She says something about him mutating to the point that he looks like a beast. I question what he will look like when he is fully mutated. She corrected me. There is no stopping point for the mutation. She then told me to go to, the, to, an, to an artist and gave me a description that I suddenly forgot now. I told them to make the art, and they comply. My Japanese would be a bit rusty because I thought I asked for one drawing, but got three. Here are the drawings. Oh, God. Did they try to draw the dude how he is now? But he's been mutating a lot.
the hell? Okay. What the hell? So now we know that it's not actually just the drug. Like, like now we know that it wasn't just a drug that was in the mix. It's, it was also radiation mix or some shit. Maybe he got involved with something. I don't know. I don't know. But now we know that the homie is now a whole cream donut. My question is this, though. How the hell are the teeth real? Like, did they really put in real teeth? Like, the whole... Why didn't he make him rubbery? That way he could just look like an inflatable, inflatable dude. Let's go. Next tape, y'all. Disgusting. All right, next one. This one's called Godzilla. I mean, I can't read that. Um, hmm. The caption's in the description. Oh, thank you. Oh, okay. I have translated some of it. Sorry if it is inaccurate. We are fully aware of the situation we are in. We will do our best to test what threw me to here so they can train him. We'll try and do some audio tests. Let's start with the man in the suit. We have him in the, in the cell. Make sure he is there until we can train him. He destroyed the light and only the darkness, but that's okay. We have a light. So are they trying to train him? Like this, this, this dude turned into Godzilla and now we're going to try to just train him. Okay. They're like, cause they don't want to get that lawsuit. They don't want to get that lawsuit. Like, yo, we, we created this by accident. I'm sorry. Movie got to keep going. The show must go on. Stop it. Right, let's do this, y'all. This is, I think this is the fifth, sixth tape. All right. I snuck around the Toho building a day after the, in, the encounter with the man in the suit. I found a tape labeled. I realized this was some years after the Angurious incident. The dude, the, the monster that got his head cut off. Let me just show it. Okay, show me. Show me, show me. What the he destroyed the light. Oh, okay. So what they're saying right now is what we just read in the description, by the way, okay? Okay. Yeah, so they pretty much, they're trying to train him. Because you're like, like, we could actually have a real Godzilla and then make even more money because people going to be thinking that this is all effects and, and they don't even got CGI yet, right? Or do they? Okay, I'm guessing that's his tail. Because Mans could probably put some fill in his tail now. Sheesh. I guess they're doing like experiments on him.
Hmm. Like, what am I looking at exactly? What is that? What the hell was that, yo? Are they trying to test him or something? Like, like, are they are they training him, trying to see if he still has some humanity within him? Like, hey, what do you what do you hear when you hear this song? Probably doesn't rec probably doesn't recognize jack shit. Yo, don't tell me that's his eye. Yo, that's his face, y'all. Look, his mouth and his two eyes. They're probably like trying to bring out his humanity, see if there's any human in him uh, do you recognize what music is buddy nah all right that's nasty all right next one <laughs> i'm scared yo big mike same here bro yo next one we got one two three four we got five left okay we got like another 20 minutes so this one's called mailed message um somebody said for a man Fused with a six foot five tall suit meant to resemble a monster that only has four fingers. He has some pretty good editing skills. <laughs> Oops. Okay. What did I just do? Let me translate this real, real quick for y'all. How about that? Okay, this is a very interesting analog horror. I like how I've never heard of uh, somebody stuck in a suit type of thing. Okay, so this says in the description. Okay. All right. So, <laughs> all right. The next one's called Meld Message. And in, in the description, it says, You took everything from me. So, this man is getting extra personal now. All right. So, this was Meld. I was Meld this tape. So, somebody taped the homie a tape. Somebody Meld the homie a tape. There we go. I don't think someone in the Toho Studios made this. My family. You Americans cheered. Oh, from the Hiroshima bombing. We lost our homes. That's why he hates Americans. We lost our families. You nuked us. No wonder this dude's crazy, y'all. The nuke took my wife. Remember the cameraman's American. The nuke took my kids. Oh no. Yeah, he got extra personal. Hiroshima was our home. I left for a business trip. Damn. He took everything from me. So I decided to return peace. By getting rid of the people who wronged us. This man is turning into real Godzilla to, to kill all of us. Yo. Remember, this was in the 50s. I'm a little moist, y'all. This is getting creepy. Yeah, I don't blame him, though. Shit. <laughs> oh, hell no. Oh, what the hell? I don't blame him though. That bombing was fucked up. 
You guys seen Oppenheimer? That movie's crazy, y'all. All right. Next movie. I mean, next video. That was... Now we understand where his anger and hatred towards Americans come from. I understand. But... I think he got a little bit too ahead of himself with the whole suit thing. Because that's terrifying as shit, buddy. Okay? Man's lost his entire humanity. I mean, I guess because you lose your whole family. You lose... I, I get it. But damn, this is terrifying. All right. Next tape is called Dorsal Extraction. Let's see what happens. Let me go on and translate this for you guys. Yeah, like... It's crazy, y'all. Uh, okay. okay, so <laughs> next video. This one says dorsal extraction, and in the description it says, I am beautiful in the dark. Oh dear gosh. Four minutes, guys. I recently got two sets of mail. Jeez. They were shabby, but they came from Toho. They didn't look professional. They looked sloppy. One was how nobody at Toho mailed me the weird package, even though the mailing address was from there. So I guess he asked everybody, like, yo, did you mail me this? Nobody. Second was that I was fired. They must have thought I was telling people this. <laughs> they were correct. Yeah, because they're all about the show must go on, even if our home is mutating. Thankfully, I had befriended someone to be a spy and give me more photos and tapes of what was happening. Why would you even continue this? I would have just left this to the FBI and leave or like the Avengers or somebody. He came here earlier with a tape called Dorso, Dorsal Extraction. Dorso, Dorsal, what does Dorsal mean? Let's see. Dorsal means on the back. Wait. Relating to the beat, relating to or situated near or on the back, especially of an animal. Extraction. Are you about to extract an animal? We'll try and get him out of the suit. We are unsure if this is going to work. Oh, damn. They're going to try to take him out of the suit, guys. Oh, no. Nah. Okay, here we go, y'all. Here goes nothing. Saw, baby, the saw, and they using that saw from the freaking tool shed. He was very cooperative. We thought it would hurt him, but it didn't. I wonder why. Because flesh and bone and all that, psh, the results are fantastic. Hold on. That's it. Oh, never mind. Ignore me. So I'm assuming that's them removing the suit from the flesh. It's going to be hard for me to eat after this. I'm surprised that this isn't the end because the spy told me that after two minutes of this being filmed, the man in the suit would attack a man with the camera. He told me the flash from the camera hurt his eyes. So he still probably has like animal eyes. <laughs> The person who, the person took photos while they ran. These are the photos. Oh gosh.
Okay, so that's his foot. Godzilla's foot. I'm assuming maybe his head. Or body. Give me a face, man. That's how he looks now. That's some bitch like a demon. Jesus. All right. Okay, so. Okay, so now we know that they tried to extract him from the suit. Nothing hurt him. Nothing. Maybe he lost all his senses. Maybe all his nerves are done. But all I know is that. Whatever he looks like now is terrifying as hell. He <laughs> no thank you. All right, next video, guys. This one's called Angurious Suit. And in the translation, it says, why can't they listen? I just want to be human again. Oh, really? All oh, right. <laughs> next video. Hey, one. All right, guys, this one's two minutes long. I think we got two more videos. After digging for it, they had finally found it. He finally got the tape I wanted. Oh, no. Oh, no. I want to know what happened to the man in the Angurious Sewer. I was the one that was getting chewed, literally. The unknown, the unknown name, the dude. We have tried our best to comply with the other person mutated in the suit. But his persistence hurts our finances. If you're in my pocket, I don't want to hear about it. People want to see him, but he doesn't want to be seen. I was confused at first. This was all. That was it. I see that at all is it? Then he started to explain. He explained that the next movie was supposed to be the man in the unguarious suit versus the man in the suit. They have tried their best one to comply with the unguarious like if they were training a daughter to do tricks. They're training him to keep doing movies? He snapped the photo of them trying to comply with the Angurias. Angurias. I hope I'm saying that right. If I'm not, I'm sorry. Yo, these directors are mad. They said they were going to use force on him using tasers. Using tasers and such. Yo, this dude was a dude. Now they're like, yeah, we're going to treat you like an animal now. But he warned me that there was a movie in the works. And the thing is crazy that they probably don't need, they're not, they're not even paying him. Something about Gojira battling a... Giant moth. Oh, moth? Mothra? Holy nacho cheese. That's nasty. So this, so this, so this dude pretty much, they got him to the point that they're actually treating him like an actual animal, like a circus animal. And they're, they're, they're like, you go, we're going to milk you for what you're worth. Cause we created you. And that suit, my friend was too expensive. So it's coming out of your All right, let's go. <laughs> Whoa. All right. Rare newspaper. I've tried to get off this situation and just leave Japan, but if I tried to, I'd probably be arrested. I went too far into the rabbit hole. Hell yeah, you did, buddy. Too far to the point I can't get out. It just keeps getting worse. It just keeps getting worse. Godzilla, dang it. I'm never going to see him the same. 
Somewhere in the making of the new movie, the man in suit somehow escapes. Yo, the dude escaped? How do I know this? It was on the news. Oh, my man's already did a public appearance. My man said they wanted Godzilla, they're gonna have him. Real life. Title, monstrous movie, monster sighting. Did somebody actually record him? Sightings and witnesses have seen a creature that resembles a lanky and tall Godzilla. One late night, couple started to travel home as a husband took some photos. The husband was a photographer and thought taking a picture of the road would be an inspiration to his next photo piece. My man's probably saw something else than a little photo piece, bro. Show it to us, we're ready. What did he take? One of the photos captured this. Yo, he is one tall son of a gun. I would scream for my life if I found that. Around later that night, a boy would see a silhouette of this mysterious beast. Thinking it was Godzilla, he stormed outside with the camera trying to take a photo of it. Holy nacho cheeseburger! <laughs> now I'm hungry. These were the photos he was able to take. What would you guys see if you saw something like that down the road? Imagine you, you're sleeping and then you hear something outside. You open the window and you see this image. This eight, nine foot beast. Of human flesh infused. Confused man. With nothing but hatred and anger for the loss of his family. That's it. That's all I got. He's one tall son of a bitch. I'm not gonna lie. He's, he's... We have tried to interview the kid after asking him what he had seen and to draw a picture of the creature. Why would they do that? They traumatizing this poor child. I've seen the film, my dad. I know what Godzilla would look like, said the kid. This was like, this wasn't Godzilla. This was something else. <laughs> the thing I saw outside on the street wasn't Godzilla. It was God. That's what he wants to be. He wants to destroy everybody. The bee skin looked fake, yet real, very uncanny. I don't know how that would look like. Skin and flesh fused with, with um, a suit. I don't think it was a creature. It might be some man in suit. I just want to see this drawing. I want to see how it looks. I don't know how I can explain his face. It somehow kept changing. I think it's because of the lack of sleep. How would you even sleep while you're in a suit? Like this? But I do remember one of his faces. He quickly drew a drawing of it. Okay. Look at that beautiful face. My friends, that's not Barney. Toho got wind of this fast, explaining this was a promotion for their new movie. Oh, wow. 
That's crazy. They're like, don't worry, just a promotion. It's a new movie. Don't worry, we have some guy, we paid him $20 to walk around. Somehow, they were able to stop any more copies of the story from printing again. This was in the 50s. They were quick on their toes, y'all. Oh, man. I have too many questions. What was he even doing outside? How did he even escape? Were Toho able to catch him? Yeah, money makes people evil as hell. Mm -hmm. They were like, yo, we can make lots of movies, sequels, prequels, The Moth. <laughs> last one, guys. It's the last one. The last one. So what do we know now? Now we know that the uh, directing company, Toho, is evil. Yeah, these guys pretty much abused this man to, to the point of, of sadness. Like, like, in the beginning, this dude had hatred and anger towards the people that, that bombed Hiroshima. So, you know, we get that. We get that. So he started taking drugs while wearing the suit. And I'm guessing maybe he took the drugs while he was filming the movies. Maybe, maybe during the time of film, he was on because they said that he would like he'll literally just be stuck there for a while, and they're like, "What the hell?" So now the movie company are abusing that. They're they're they're, they're treating him like if he's just a, a caged animal, so that way they can bust out with many more movies. Because they're like, "Yo, this is great. We're gonna make prequels and sequels and and trip rolls and all kinds of shit." Now let's watch the final. Well, for now it's the last one. This one dropped two weeks ago. This one's called. Um, Mazura Suit Incident, 1964. And let me go ahead and translate this real, real quick. Let's see. All right. And. Okay, then. <laughs> that says Reborn. November 11th, y'all. Last one. This one's 11 minutes, so. Hold on to your. Hold on to your. Uh. To your suits. All right, 11 11, make a wish. Let's do this, y'all. Ba 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 bum. What's crazy is that I've never actually watched the old school Godzillas. Crazy, right? I, sh I, sh I think I should. I should. Just crack back and just relax. Damn! <laughs> Yo, the, the static sounds in this is disturbing as shit. Spy I had befriended had told me what had happened during the time the man in suit had escaped. He had told me that something went wrong. He said this has happened because of what conditions the man in suit was in. He was lathered with some paste that made him look different and a bit shiny. He had to wear a glossy type of contact so they could hide his bloodshot eyes. He was forced to withstand high wind. He was dragged around. Yo, this ambience is nasty. He was treated like a circus animal. Pretty much, remember what I just said?
During production, instead of the man in the suit fighting another man in the monster suit, it will be replaced by a puppet. Yeah, you know why? You already know why. They weren't they weren't trusting him binding somebody else again. Hell no. Sheesh. The man in the suit was the man in the suit saw Mazura, the puppet moth, as a living being. He thought someone was inside the puppet because of how lifelike it acted. Oh no. Don't tell me who I Toll thought this was a very smart tactic until they realized they had a problem. Oh, dear God. Someone needed to be in one of the larvae suits. What you mean by that? One female actor thought it was a good idea because of how much security they had. So agreed to be in one of the shots being inside the larva suit. It was originally her first day on the job and invited her parents to see her act. Her parents didn't care about what character she was in the movie. They were happy that she was even included in the production. Yo, her parents are about to witness the most nastiest thing ever. Because remember, nobody knew that the Godzilla was actually whatever it is. Sally, the amount of security isn't going to help her out of the trap she put herself in. In one of the scenes they were filming, the man in the, man in the suit snapped. What you mean by snap, man? Going after the Mazura puppet, biting onto it, after realizing that the moth was a puppet, he would go ballistic and charged after the woman in larva suit. Okay. Now where's she at? Okay, that's her. So where exactly did he bite? I hope he bit the end and not the front. And I bet you her parents are just in the back like, the man in the suit charges forward against her. Oh gosh. The larva suit had plenty of headroom for her to duck down, but that won't stop the man from charging deeper. While her head gets bitten, her parents see everything. And they're gonna put the parents right there for us to visualize it. Perfect. I love this trauma. They try to intervene. They're like, yo, this is gonna be a hot shot for the film's bloopers. Yo, we got some behind the scenes footage if you buy the DVD. They were both mauled to death by the men in the suit. The parents? After mauling them, the man in the suit would immediately try and protect the larva suit. But the production crew were ready this time. Because remember, the reason why he was protecting the larva suit was because the last time he was attacking somebody that was in a suit, he was protecting like his meal. Like he would, that's, that's, how, that's how my dog gets when you try to take a snack from it. So this dude was doing that to actual people in suits. So this man was protecting the larva suit for later, if you know what I mean. But the crew was ready for this because the last time with tasers, they stunned him away from the larva suit in some fit of a rage. He barges through security and escapes. But the parents are still dead. They're chewed up now. There was a team that was quickly dispatched to catch the man in the suit. Four men were tasked to stay with the larva suit, wanted to try and get her out of the suit. The 
spy was in the team to get the man in the suit. Oh, the spy, the guy, the guy that he befriended. So this is how he knows the information that, these, that, that he knows now because of the spy. It took an hour to find the man in the suit. I wonder where the hell he went. He probably went to the beach. <laughs> They saw him looking around the forest as if he was just wandering around looking at nature. As if he was calm. The commons broke as it saw the people trying to capture it. The man in the suit was surrounded. Oh God! It's crazy how just reading, reading, you can like picture everything in your head, and it's so much fun. Then it will start to shake violently. He twitched as a sudden sound, as if he was vibrating. It vomited a red boiling liquid, presumably his own blood. Why is what, is he mutating again? Remember, they said that the the woman said that the mutation doesn't stop. So maybe he's mutating even some more, or maybe he's throwing up his that girl's family. Boiling liquid, by the way. Okay, his own blood. Never mind. So he's he's definitely mutating even more. Probably, re probably releasing all his, uh, his old, his, you know, no thank you. You know how like, um, um, snakes and stuff shed? It was probably a last resort the creature had, but somehow they had hold of, they had a hold of the beast and then took it back. Oh damn, at, at this point, why not just like, throw him in the furnace? I'm sorry y'all. The spy took a picture of what was left, oh okay, god. That was the puddle of blood that he spit out from his mouth? They left quickly to go put the man in the suit into a secure place. I need to put him like in Area 51, in my opinion. My man's evolved to Charizard at this point. They fear the worst coming back. This is what they expected. Are uh, you guys ready for this? I love these before and afters. I love the little build up, the little, the little, you know. So this is what this this must be the lot. Wait, what is this? The larva? Or what is this? This is what they found. Don't tell me that's him evolving. This is what they found. Yo! My man is mutating like crazy. Is he on the ceiling? Is he on the ceiling? This man's became a moth. I don't know what the hell that was. What in the deep blue hell was that? Did I hit like? Oh my gosh. Nope. 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 And I'm 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 taking a hard guess that it's not over yet. And that, my friends, guys, was the Godzilla, Godzilla analog horror. 
I hope you guys enjoy that one. That was disgustingly disturbing. I loved it. That was great. That one was, was very detailed. It really did paint a picture in my in my head. Because I know it was a lot of words, but the, the best thing about it is that when you're reading this, it feels good to actually picture those words and it kind of brings a more chilling touch to it. It's good. Good ambience. This is a really good story. It's pretty much a man in a suit incident. Pretty much. I love it. I hope you guys enjoy this. If you guys want more, y'all let me know. Be sure to check out, check him out on YouTube. It's unknowingly. Like I said, here he has 10 videos out. And I'm assuming we're getting more. Mm -hmm. Hooray! Hooray. Hooray. But yeah, that's sick, man. So pretty much, man in suit. Lots of anger. Man was mad because of the whole Hiroshima situation. It sucks. And then he ended up, start, he started taking drugs, I guess. Some, some kind of drug. And I'm guessing maybe he was taking drugs while he was working while in a suit. And maybe some radiation. Oh, no. Cause remember how the lady said that this is all part of radiation or something? What happened? What gave him that radiation, though? What gave him that radiation? Hmm. Well, the radiation kind of fused his skin and everything with the, with, the, with the damn suit. Filling up every open gap within that suit to the point that his bone and flesh structure and his vocal cords and everything pretty much got messed up. So let's see what's next for our man in the suit. Love you guys. All right.